Their embrace was the culmination of their pilgrimage to the Holy Land. The Apostle Peter reunited with his blood brother, the Apostle Andrew. Pope Francis and ecumenical patriarch Bartholomew walked down the halls of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. They kissed and prayed before the Stone of the Anointing. The holy places are the common refuge of humanity and they shine with the brightness of the true light, a beacon of peace and spiritual refreshment for, for all. Sitting side by side near the altar, Pope Francis and Bartholomew presided a celebration, alternating the liturgy between Greek and Latin. During the ceremony, Bartholomew addressed Pope Francis, talking about how the resurrection of Christ redeems all those suffering today. However, rest assured, all of you who are crucified in this life, that just as in the case of Christ, the resurrection follows the cross. The spiritual leader of the Eastern Orthodox Church said that the empty tomb shows that humanity does not control its history, but should submit to the will of God. He also talked about Jesus' command to love each other. The religious fanaticism already threatens peace in many regions of the globe, where, they, where the very gift of life is sacrificed on the altar of religious hatred. In the face of such conditions, the message of the life-giving tomb is urgent and clear. Love the other, the different other, the followers of other faiths and other confessions. In a show of reverence to the ecumenical patriarch, Pope Francis kissed Bartholomew's hand before taking the podium. In his remarks, the Pope acknowledged the centuries-old divisions that continue to exist among the disciples of Jesus, but he added that they should not frighten them. Dobbiamo credere che come è stata ribaltata la pietra del sepolcro, così potranno essere rimossi tutti gli ostacoli che ancora the Pope said the work of their predecessors 50 years ago showed that it's possible to take steps towards unity. But he added that violence and persecution around the world today also force Christians to come together. Si realizza un ecumenismo della sofferenza. Si realizza l'ecumenismo del sangue che possiede una particolare efficacia non solo per i contesti in cui esso ha luogo, ma in virtù della comunione dei santi, anche per tutta la Chiesa. Quelli che per odio alla fede uccidono, perseguitano i cristiani, non li domandano se sono ortodossi o se sono cattolici. Sono cristiani. Il sangue cristiano è lo stesso. Santità, amato fratello. For the first time, the Pope and the Patriarch publicly said the Lord's Prayer together, first in Italian, then in Greek. The successors to Peter and Andrew then headed down to the Holy Sepulchre. They entered the small chapel where they kissed and prayed before the tomb of Jesus, each one lighting a candle before stepping out. Next, the Patriarch led the Pope to Golgotha, the area within the church under the custody of the Greek Orthodox. They took turns kneeling down and touching the rock of the cavalry, the site of the crucifixion. As they made their way out, Pope Francis and Bartholomew greeted pilgrims and officials along the way. The two spiritual leaders will meet again on Monday for a private audience at the Garden of Gethsemane.